here it is. Look at that piece of bone over there. It's quite big. <laughs> yeah, that's big. I think this would be another part of the rostrum over here. A big piece of skull. And I'm hoping this fits onto those other two blocks. Let's get it loaded. starting to look good. You can see there's the tip of the tooth over there. Well there it is, my first cetacean tooth. The tip of the tooth is broken off from the main part, but at least it's, it's in this container. <laughs> and it came out in one piece. Is that bone? I'm not sure if it's bone or wood. There's a bit over there, over here, and a really nice one there. I'm back in the area where I found that whale skull, that wedge, and there's a missing piece of ear bone. <laughs> and look what I saw between these rocks. I picked it up and had a look at it, but I've put it back down where I found it. And that's, I think, the missing piece of whale ear bone. That looks dense enough to be the, the ear bone over there. And I think, just from memory, but I think this is the right shape for it. <laughs> That's <laughs> incredible. to build a, a little bit of a scaffolding to keep all the pieces together but yeah they fit together that's that's a great part um it is a big crab and you're like oh well you know the claws and everything's missing but there it is that's the top of it might be able to get it home actually get home before the sun sets. Oh no. Yeah, tide's still pretty high. Yeah, that's not going to be good.
piece of rock. 50 pounds, maybe more. What's that? 30, 30 kilograms. I was hoping I'd see some teeth sticking out. Meaning that it'd be a toothed whale, like a section of sperm whale jaw, which would be incredible. I'm not seeing anything there. This was such a heavy carry, especially in that cold weather, but I'm happy I've got it at home. What I'm hoping is that um, that the mandible ends over here. This is the back part of the mandible, because there's a, there's a feature on there, or there could be a feature on there that is diagnostic in whales. You can tell what kind of whale species it is from, just from that piece of bone over there. So if you look over there, nothing's on that side. And he has a really, really thick piece of bone over here. It's going to be a big test. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> that is my biggest shark tooth. I think I found a vertebra. See, there's the one side of it. Just, just peeking out there is the other side. There might even be some more over there. I actually worried that I wouldn't have enough fossils for a top 10 but looking back at all the footage uh, we found quite a few fossils this year <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that supported me this year 
uh, everyone that's watched and uh, left comments, liked it, shared it. It's been such a big help. Uh, just thanks for that. Everyone that's helped me with identifying fossils, there's been so many, too many to mention. Uh, thank you everyone for that. Despite the lockdowns and all that, you know, we managed to get out there, find fossils, learn new things, learn new techniques, uh, prep this beast at last. <laughs> I've been meaning to for the last probably year and a half, two years. I just want to mention the patrons. Uh, without the patrons, we would have had half the equipment we have now to uh, prep fossils with. It's the acid, it's those new air scribes, the, the air abrasion, all those things. Uh, they're just possible through the Patreon support. So thanks again for that. I know 2022 is going to be a good year. We're going to find new fossils. We're going to go new places. Uh, I think we're going to take it up a notch. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. I hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Uh, take time to relax and stay safe out there. And I'll see you on the next hunt.